everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full of Simplicity. Today I'll be unboxing and flipping through the Unfolding Path Tarot. This is by Athene Noctua and is published by Hay House. Now Hay House did send me this for the purpose of the review. So thank you so much to them for sending this my way. I'm so excited to get into this. This was one of my anticipated releases for this year because I wanted this when they did the Kickstarter. When she did the Kickstarter, I was like, oh my God, I really want this, but it was so expensive. So I was like, no, never mind. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't afford it. Hopefully one day, I don't know. And then I was thinking, you know, one day, okay, maybe it'll get picked up. Who knows? You know, things have been picked up before from Kickstarters, so one can hope, right? And when I found out that her crystal ball pocket oracle was picked up, I was like, you know what? Her crystal ball pocket oracle was picked up. I found out that her runic deck was picked out, picked up by Hay House. I was like, okay, if they picked up those two decks, they're for sure going to pick this up as well. Like, why would they only pick up two decks? Like, that to me makes no sense whatsoever. So I was hoping and then eventually I found the listing for it with no pictures or anything. So I was like, yep, they picked it up. I knew it. Knew it. <laughs> now here's to hoping that they pick up her last Kickstarter that she did, which is the little pocket love oracle or whatever, because that looks really cute too. So if they pick that up also, <laughs> I'll have the entire collection, I guess. <laughs> But I'm really excited to get into this one. It's a 78 card deck and guidebook. And I'm super excited. This deck looks absolutely stunning. I don't even care how many modern decks I have. I need them all. Honestly, I will use them all. It's all good in my opinion. So in the back here, it says life is a magical journey. This 78 card tarot deck featuring beautiful reimagined archetypes and modern diverse characters will guide you as you explore the infinite paths your life can take. With unique interpretations of traditional Rider Waite Smith imagery, the Unfolding Path Tarot introduces a dazzling community of animals, plants, and people. This deck's vibrant artwork, insight, insightful rather, guidebook, and extra sprinkle of magic create the perfect compass for self-discovery. This retails for $24.99 in the US, $33.99 in Canada. Super excited, let's get into it. Love the nice stain that's on the box. Inside we have this gorgeous card. I'm going to assume this is the Ace of Cups because it looks like an Ace of Cups. Let's see. So it did come shrink wrapped and I did take off the, um, what you call it, the paper uh, before we came on. And this must be the star card in my opinion. And the reason why I did that is a lot of the time the paper sometimes will ruin the back card or the last card. It did ruin this one a bit. So I like to take them off right away uh, when I get these decks. Because sometimes the manufacturer, they like put that thing on a little too tight. And yeah. Doesn't do any good for the last card. Okay, let's put the cards here. And let's get into the guidebook first. So this deck does release on August 8th. I should say that right now. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, if it'll go up before the 8th or after the 8th, but this did or does release on August 8th, whether that's before you'll have time still to pre-order it. If not, then it'll be up and you'll be able to grab it because it'll be available. I will also say that uh, buying from Hay House is always a great idea if they're having a sale, in my opinion. So always compare prices between Hay House's website and Amazon, in my opinion, to get the better deal. It's just always best, especially if you want to save money. Okay, so we have a table of contents here. We have an introduction, tarot basics, using the unfolding path tarot, tarot spread, or rather card spreads. Major Arcana, Minor Arcana, Wands, Cups, Swords, Pentacles, about the author, and Acknowledgements. So we have, it says, Merry Meet Fellow Traveler. <laughs> I love it. So cute. Tarot Basics. Some information on the particular suits. 
don't think she's changed anything, so that's fine. We have some information here. Okay, so I'm assuming there's no... Yeah, while I don't personally use reverse card meanings in my practice, many many people find them helpful. Okay, so there's no reversals within the book themselves, but you can still use reversals with this particular deck if you wish to. Um, so, you do you, is what I say. We have a single card spread. We have a two card spread. We have a three card option with uh, four different options here. We have a path to self-love, which is so nice. We have where the path will lead today. Ooh, I like that. What does it say? What will today bring? What blessings will hold? Will today hold? What test or obstacle might there be? How can I best meet this challenge? Oh, I like that. I think I'm going to do this. We have my soul's true path. And then it goes into the major. So what do we have? Title. We have a bunch of keywords. And then we have a blurb. A little paragraph blurb. I always call them blurbs. I don't know. It's fun. It's fun to say. So similar information or structure rather. Okay. Let's get into the minors. We have wands. Yeah, similar structure with the keywords, page, knight, king. Okay, then we go into cups. Okay, so they don't really say, like, this is the ten of pentacles. Uh, so you might want to know which section you're in before <laughs> you start reading uh, in that regard. I might put sticky tabs maybe in there to see. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so the cardstock. So I was thinking that the cardstock would be or felt similar to the Fifth Spirit Tarot, but actually no. I touched like I took out my Fifth Spirit to touch it and it doesn't feel the same. Like this is completely different. Um I feel like this feels similarly to the Sephiroth, Sephiroth, Sephiroth Tarot. Um, and in that video, if you saw that, I put that up, I believe, last week. Um, I stated in that video that the cardstock felt the same as the Lunasol Tarot, which is by Liminal Eleven, or the Mystical Medleys Tarot, which is also by Liminal Eleven, in terms of cardstock. Um, which for me, I don't mind at all. Like this feels pretty nice in my opinion. I do not uh, riffle shuffle. So if you're a riffle shuffler, I don't know how you like this kind of cardstock, but I overhand. So for me, this is like, this is good. For me, this is perfect. So yes, I'm excited to get into this. Let's go. I love this fool card. So cute. Then we have the Magician. I love the white space uh, that there is. Also, these are the backs of the cards. Love them. And then we have the High Priestess. We have the Triple Moon. We have the Pomegranate. She's holding a scroll. I love that uh, she's older. Uh, a lot of crone vibes going on, which I really like. We have the Empress. The Emperor. He looks like a very strong guy with the with the little bit of whites in the hair. Or in the beard rather. We have the Hierophant. We have the aspect of the keys. We have a lot of different um symbology. On his like scarf thing robe thing the lovers and the chariot <laughs> I love that she's riding a white tiger 
the Strength card, the Hermit, love this. The Hermit is one of my favorite cards, so I really pay attention to the Hermit and the Moon and the Major Arcana, because I really love those. We have the Wheel of Fortune, it's very interesting. Feels like uh, this is like a compass for direction, and then we have like the actual wheel that you typically see with the Hebrew alphabet on it. Justice. The Hanged Man. Love that. Death. Oh, look at that death card. So we have a skull here, and then on this side we have the person's head. That's really cool. I really like this death card. Even the flowers look like they're dying here, and they're vibrant on this side, which is really cool. We have the temperance. <laughs> love how she's like with the peace sign. <laughs> Oh, I love it. The aspect of water, but also the aspect of fire, because we have the symbology, uh, like, tattooed on her wrists. The devil, oh my god. <laughs> it's a sexy devil. <laughs> we have the tower. That's really cool. So it looks like she's falling. The tower is like above her. It's, uh, in chaos and ruins. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. This is the star card. Then we have the moon. The sun. We have Judgment, we have The World, which I really love. We have the, uh, specifically the, um, the glyphs uh, that are supposed to be associated with the animals that are typically there, and the... Yeah, the animals that are typically here, and then the human, I believe, is on the top, typically. Let me get into the wands. Oh, I love this ace. So nice. The two. The three. This is gorgeous. We have the four, the five, the sixth. Oh, I love this so much. I love the victory with the, he's like holding the um, crown here with the trophy on the sign. Flowers on his lap, bouquet of flowers. So nice. Seven. I love the color story of this deck. A lot of reds. The backgrounds are all like red focused. Ten. <laughs> Just having a hard time with the bag full of wands. <laughs> okay, we have the page. The knight, the queen, <laughs> look at the cat, oh my god, it's so cute, I love this so much, um, I knew I would love the stack, I'm so happy, king, okay, cups, oh, I knew it, ace of cups, see, told you in the beginning, knew it, I really like this, the hands forming the heart, 
the two. Oh, I love this. So beautiful. We have the three, the friends, the four. Five, six. Oh, I love this. A lot of nostalgia in this. And this kid is so cute looking. We have the seven. Yep, she's definitely thinking. The eight. The nine. Everyone is so expressive in this deck. I really like it. And then we have the 10. We have the page. Oh, I love him as the page. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so nice. We have the knight. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled <laughs> by his smile. We have the queen. Oh, I love her. Oh, my gosh. She's gorgeous. I love that there's di a lot of diversity, not only with, like, age, but I love that there's age diversity because I don't see enough of that in decks, but I love the body type diversity, too. We have the king. Let me go into the swords. So the dark blue is the, the swords. I really like this. We have the ace. We have the two. The three. Whoa. She looks battered. We have the four. Very peaceful. And then we have the five. The six. Oh, they're little dogs. So cute. We have the seven. Why does this guy look like Zorro? <laughs> <laughs> it's Zoro. He's coming to rescue us all. We have the eight. Oops. We have the nine. We have the ten. Whoa, that's rough. That is rough. Then we have the page. I really like this page of swords. The knight. We have the queen. The king. And then lastly, we go into the pentacle suit. I really love the aces on this deck. Oh, I just noticed she has tattooed the um, signs on her hands. That's the air sign. The two. Very typical for a two. I really like that. <laughs> I really like this two. The three. They're all working together. We have the four. This guy really does not want to give up his coin. <laughs> we have the five. Oh, this makes me sad. The six. Seven, eight. <laughs> I love how her, all the uh, queens are in her hair. <laughs> the nine. Look at that peacock. Wow. And the ten. Oh, I love this generational wealth. Very nice. And we have the page. The knight, the queen, and lastly, the king. I absolutely love this. The artwork is absolutely fantastic. The expression on people's faces is just amazing. I love everything about this deck. I love the diversity and age and body type and race. So gorgeous. I love the fact that you can really see the expressions on the people's faces that is like the emotion is like really there which is really nice okay I just dropped a card 
I guess that card really wanted us to read it. <laughs> it shuffles great. I actually really like the way it shuffles overhand. It, do, it does stick a little bit, but I'm sure with time and use, that will be, that will be not an issue at all. You know, this is the first time I'm shuffling it, so I'm not really surprised. Ah, I just dropped a bunch of cards on the, the floor. Okay, hold on. Okay, I picked up all the cards. We're going to read for the Ten of Wands. Uh, I actually want to read also a major card here. We have the Hanged. The Hanged. Or the Hanged Man. As well. That behind here. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, I'm going to read for the Ten of Wands. This is the one. No, that's Cups. Okay, here we go. Ten. Burden, strain, difficulty, journey's end. Despite all your hard work, there is still much more that needs to be done. You are carrying heavy responsibilities and they are beginning to wear you down. If you are feeling exhausted and burned out, it might be time to delegate some of the load or have an honest conversation regarding what you work, what work you can and can't continue to do. This heavy burden may, may be short term or you may be choosing or maybe considering taking on additional duties to help someone out. Don't carry this alone. Be willing to ask for help. So that's what I read. Fantastic. Short to the point. I love that they have keywords. So if you don't want to read the blurb, you can go ahead and not do that. And sometimes I like quick on the go. Sometimes I just want to look at keywords and just move on. Sometimes I don't even need to look at the book at all, but it's just nice to know that they have options. Hanged. New perspective, surrender, inactivity, stasis, delay, letting go, release control, sacrifice. If you're feeling stuck, whether emotionally, spiritually, or in some area of your life, stop for a moment and give yourself time to process your current situation. Is there something you are struggling against or overly attached to? Could now be the time to let go and practice non-attachment. This card suggests that you might be required to make a sacrifice. The sacrifice is needed and will ultimately move you in the right direction when the time is right. In this time of delay or inactivity, take the opportunity to consciously consider your current position from different viewpoints. A shift in your perspective could shift your world. I love that. This is typically how I read the Hanged Man, Hanged One, Hanged. Uh, so I really like this particular uh, blurb on the card. I really love this deck and I'm so excited to be using it. I'm going to get right into using it, honestly. I'm planning to use this with um, Lionheart's uh, new challenge for August. So I'm really excited. I also wanted to show a few decks that I plan to pair with this particular deck. I think that would look nice. Uh, we shall see when we look at them. But uh, let's switch up the view and check those out. Okay, so the first deck that I thought would pair really well with this particular deck is the When My Soul Whispered Oracle. This is my Melissa Salvaggio artwork by Jess O'Connor. This is published by US Games. And just looking at it right off the bat, I already love it, honestly. Like, this looks really nice. Like, the, I feel like the artwork really uh, fits together really well. Let's 
So, yes. Yeah, I really like this. Really love this deck. I'm definitely going to be using these together. The second deck that I thought would pair really nicely is the Divine Feather Messenger deck. Uh, this is by Allison Dinocola. Artwork is by David Schweier or Schweer. I'm not sure how to pronounce the surname. Apologies. And it's published by US Games. I feel like this one could probably go really well as well. So we have the red tied in, which is really nice. We have that black and white vibe going on. We have some white here. I feel like this bird really matches well with the sky suit. Okay, one more. Ooh, we have a vulture. Very, very nice. So yeah, I feel like these would go well. I think I would probably prefer the When My Soul Whispered, but this is definitely another option if you have this particular deck. Then the third deck is a little bit more of a modern vibe and a modern take with the Signs of Times Oracle. This is by Crystal Banner. This is also published by Hay House. I thought these would be a good combination, in my opinion. Um, the colors look really nice together. And we have that more modern take. This is a modern deck. So I feel like with the modern vibe, these would go really well together. Or read really well, rather, together. Like this. We have the mountains with the sun and the six of cups. This is very interesting. I really like this. Oh, this this right here goes really well together. With the six of swords and then the judgment card. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I really like this as an option. I do pair this particular Oracle deck a lot with the Light Seers, with the uh, This Might Hurt Tarot, Fifth Spirit I've paired with it. So yeah, there's a lot of very modern decks that I pair with this particular deck. So I'm really happy to add another tarot to pair with this particular deck. It looks great. Then lastly, I was thinking something a little bit more minimalistic, uh, like the Daily Crystal Inspiration cards is by Heather uh, Askenazi, also published by Hay House. I love this deck, and I feel, I feel like the simplistic uh, sense of it goes well with this particular deck because we have, you know, the we have like the white space that's around it, but I really like the fact that we have something that's a little less hectic in the middle. Yeah, I really like these two together, actually. These are great. We have a fine piece within into, with the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords. Wow, that's so good. That's actually really good. I love that, actually. Yeah, protect your energy with the Page of Swords and the Empress. Apologies again for the dog barking. I don't know if he was barking earlier, but... But yes... Um, we have the Golden Healer Quartz in between the Eight of Cups and the Emperor. Really like that. The colors in this particular uh, crystal go really well with the Emperor card. So I'm really loving this. Altogether, I'm really happy with these particular options. I think they look fantastic. Let me know in the comments below what you've been pairing with this particular tarot. I'd love to hear from you and uh, have some more suggestions to see uh, what pairs well with this particular tarot deck. 
So that was the Unfolding Path Tarot. Let me know in the comments below if you have this deck, if you have the indie version or the mass mark version. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. If you have the indie version, is there any differences that you've seen? Let me know what the differences are so that way other people can know as well. I don't have the indie version, so I don't really know if there's any differences between the two. I believe the indie version didn't come with a guidebook. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on that front. I'd love to know in the comments below. I do thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on that bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated and helps me in the long run. Thanks so much and I hope that you have a great day. Thank you.